Okay, so I'm gonna have you hang on this lane line. That's gonna be the shot. Excuse me. I got that one. No! <laughs> no! Got the bloopers! <laughs> Elizabeth Eisel, we're here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale filming for the Flex Kickstarter campaign. Look out for that on February 15th. Today, we're gonna do some drills. My favorite backstroke drill, it's called the Titanic. So I've been swimming to your backstroke for a really long time um, on the national team and I feel like this drill has really helped me become a good backstroker and transform into a great backstroker. Um, and what you're gonna do right now, you're gonna be on your back and kicking like normal, but your arms are gonna be straight up like this. So the drill is called the Titanic for good reason because you literally will sink. And I promise you, you won't be able to do this because it's really, really hard, but it shows how important your core is and how important your legs are in backstroke especially to keep your hips up. And if you're gonna have sinking hips during a race, you're gonna be swimming through the water like a plow. And obviously the objective is to get from there to there as fast as you can and you do that by having a straight body line. So this is super important just to keep those hips up and that core tight and it'll teach you to really, really use your legs. Right, and right now I'm gonna show you how to do the Titanic drill successfully. This drill is so huge with backstroke. It can help you gauge how strong or not strong your legs are. Um, I definitely recommend using it almost every day if you can. Um, keep an eye out for the Flex Kickstarter February 15th, and thank you for watching.